partner with Congressman Liu and his office to host our district's congressional art competition. I'm always so incredibly impressed with all the submissions we get, and I think you'll see this year is no different. We have incredible young artists that are going to be adding so much to the art world in the years to come. It is my honor today to introduce Congressman Liu. And I'll just say on a personal level, Congressman Liu is my favorite congressman. I'm not just saying that, it's really true. So Congressman Liu, thank you so much for all that you're doing for us in Washington. Congressman Ted W. Liu represents California's 33rd district in the United States House of Representatives. He's serving his fourth term in Congress and currently sits on the House Judiciary Committee and the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman Liu was also elected by his Democratic colleagues this Congress to serve as a co-chair of the Democratic Policy and Communications Party, uh, I'm sorry, Communications Committee for a third time. He is a former active duty officer in the US Air Force Following active duty, he served in the Air Force Reserve, retiring with the rank of Colonel in 2021. So please, everyone join me in welcoming Congressman Ted Lee. Well, thank you so much, Deborah, for that wonderful introduction. And if the host can let me start my video, that'd be great. Um, in the meantime, I want to thank all of you for joining us here today to honor our district's talented high school artists. While we miss having this event in person, we're happy that we get to acknowledge your hard work and dedication to the arts virtually. Thank you for your all the various community partners. Oh, here we go. I'm going to start my video. Give me one sec. All right. Good to see you all. Thank you to our community partners and judges for participating and for all that you have done to make this a special day for our student participants, families, and art teachers. I am especially grateful to Wallace Annenberg Center for the Performing Arts for being our fiscal agent, facilitating scholarship donations for all the winners. This year, we received 129 student submissions from 23 different schools. These submissions included 30 photographs, 38 paintings, 25 drawings, 16 mixed media pieces, and 20 other pieces that included computer generated art and collages. This year, with the generosity of over 13 community partners, we secured over $7,000 in scholarship donations for scholarships and even more in prizes. I want to now list and thank our community partners. We have Alan Jeffries Framing, AMC Theaters, Benny's Tacos, Capital One, Continental Development Corporation, Connecta Federal Credit Union, Logics Federal Credit Union, Paramount Pictures, the Aerospace Corporation, UPS, Vectus DC, the Wallace Annenberg Center, and the Water Replenishment District of Southern California. So thank you to uh, all of our partners. And none of these selections would have happened without our amazing judges who went through every one of the submissions and they got together and they uh, judge them and then uh, selected the winners. And I want to name the five judges we had. We had Dr. Barbara Drucker, uh, we had Mary Hart, Maisie Harris, Nicholas Daniels, and Torrance School Board member Betty Lou, uh, who also happens uh, to be my better half. And want to thank all my staff and interns for putting together this event. We have Aurelio Friedman, who is a special project manager and senior field representative for my office. Jennifer Harbeck, uh, who's our field representative, Nicholas Rodriguez, the district director, Lauren Good, one of our interns, and Isabel Gallagher, uh, one of our interns as well. So in the US Capitol, uh, when we go vote, I go from my office to Capitol and many of us take the tunnel to get there. And inside this tunnel, uh, we have the Congressional Art Competition exhibit. And it's basically along one side of the tunnel and it's all uh, the first place winners from all the various congressional districts. And I pass that tunnel, as do many members of Congress, multiple times a day uh, when we're in session. So I look forward to having uh, the winners a selection be put uh, on uh, that tunnel as well. I'm also delighted to see so many unique and inspired entries in this year's competition. I strongly believe that the arts are important to a student's education, uh, as well as math, science, history, and literature. 
I myself am a member of the Commercial Arts Caucus, as well as the Congressional Humanities Caucus, the STEAM Caucus, and the Creative Rights Caucus. I've advocated for full funding of the National Endowment of the Arts and National Endowment for the Humanities, as well as arts programs in schools and in prisons. And I wanna thank not just the students, but also their families and their parents uh, for encouraging art and to all the art teachers and other teachers uh, in our high schools uh, that promote art as well as administrators uh, and staff. And uh, with that, I'm going to now uh, turn it over and we're gonna start uh, with uh, showing you uh, some of their uh, art selections and announcing uh, the winners. And so I'm actually, hi everyone, it's Deborah again, and I'm actually going to read uh, a, a summary of the schools who participated in the event and the number of submissions they had, as well as the grades of students that were represented at this represented this time. I'm going to read because I don't want to get this wrong, so I'm going to read right off my paper. So we start with Overall, we had 129 submissions in this year's Congressional Arts Competition from 23 different schools. Aurora High School, one. Beverly Hills High School, 28. Brentwood School, four. Calabasas High School, eight. California Academy, Ac Academy of Mathematics and Science, one. Chadwick School, four. El Segundo High School, one. Harvard Westlake School, three. ID8 Art Academy, two. I Lead Exploration Hybrid, one. La Lycée Francais de la Los Angeles, one. Malibu High School, one. Marble, Marlboro School, one. Millican Community High School, one. Miracosta High School, eight. Palisades Charter High School, four. Palos Verdes High School, three. Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, 11. Redondo Union High School, 10. Santa Monica High School, 10. South High School, two. Vistamar School, oh, that was wrong. South High School, 22, get that right. South High School, 22. Vistamar School, two. West High School 2. And the grades that were represented this time were 11 students are in the ninth grade, 25 students are in the 10th grade, 52 students are in the 11th grade, and 41 students are in the 12th grade. And again, the mediums we received for the artwork, 38 paintings, 30 photographs, 25 drawings, 16 mixed media submissions, and 20 other submissions. Thank you so much, Deborah. Uh, that is uh, a fantastic array of different submissions from so many different uh, high schools. And thank you to everyone who uh, has participated. And so now I'm gonna announce uh, the winners. We're gonna start with the honorable mentions. I'm going to invite Leanne McGinley from the Aerospace Corporation to help me announce the honorable mention. And so this is gonna be the honorable mention uh, for photography. And it goes to Ella Desai. The artwork is called She Soars. And Ella is in grade 10 from the Marlboro School. I'll go ahead and, um, and read that the judges were impressed with how this photographer, um, how this photographer blended the exterior and interior worlds together in this multi-layered piece. The colors were also beautiful. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much, Leanne. And congratulations, uh, Ella, uh, for uh, this honorable mention award. And by the way, you'll be getting $350 for it. The second winner, I'm going to invite Mary Hart, uh, one of our judges, uh, and we're going to announce the honorable mention for painting. It goes to Irene Beck. It's called The Power of Protest. Irene is in grade 10 from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School. Thank you, Congressman Liu. 
The judges appreciated the timeliness of this piece and how much positive energy that it captures. Every figure and sign are painted in equal detail and with a great deal of integrity and respect. Because everything is given equal attention, um, it, it illustrates also what everyone should be striving for in the democratic process. Thank you so much, Irene. Thank you so much, Mary, and thank you also again for being one of our judges. The next honorable uh, mention winner goes for drawing, and I want to invite Barbara Drucker, who also one of our judges, to help announce it. And the winner goes to Aaron Davis. The piece is called Pure Shock, and Aaron is in grade 12 at Rodano Union High School. Uh, congratulations to Aaron. The judges noted the range of tones and markings in this beautiful piece. It shows that the artist is technically accomplished, knowing how to create strong volume, light and form and a very strong expression. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much, Barbara. And thank you again for being one of our judges. And congratulations, Aaron. You will also be receiving $350 uh, for your award. Next, I'd like to invite Nicholas Daniels, also one of our judges, to help announce their honorable mention for mixed media. And the winner for mixed media honorable mention goes to Alyssa Kim. The piece is called Clamor. Alyssa is in grade 11 from Brentwood School. Thank you, Congressman. Congratulations, Alyssa. Many of us are used to interpreting images quickly, but the judges were impressed by this complicated piece that gets richer with continued inspection. It rewards close and detailed attention, which is really satisfying. Thank you so much, Nicholas, and thank you also for being one of our judges. And congratulations again, Alyssa. You'll also be receiving $350 for your award. And then uh, the final honorable mention goes to computer generated art collages and prints and the winner is thomas drummond the piece is called head in the mountains thomas is in grade 10 uh, from malibu high school and the reason that the judges selected this piece is that the judges found this piece introspective and meditative the head naturally contains an image of where he wants to go and the cropping and tonal variation adds to it uh, so congratulations uh, so much, Thomas, and you will also be receiving $350 uh, for your award. So the next award uh, goes to something called the Member's Choice winner, uh, which is one that I select. Uh, so um, I want to let you know that the winner is Cole Summers. The piece is called UFO Sighting. Cole is uh, at Beverly Hills High School and is in grade 11. And the reason uh, for this uh, award is because my view is that the submission displays different narratives of three young people watching a UFO sighting. The anticipation is clearly conveyed and the contrast in this image really emphasizes it. And congratulations, Cole. Uh, you will also uh, be receiving uh, $350 as well. Next, we're going to announce the third place winner uh, of the Congressional Art Competition. I'd like to invite Alethea Kalagias from Logic's Federal Credit Union to help announce the third place winner. The winner goes to Yena Chung. The piece is called Isolation. Yena is in grade 11 and from at the California Academy of Mathematics and Science. Uh, just to let you know, this piece will actually hang uh, in my capital office uh, for one year. Thank you, Congressman Liu. The judges believe that this piece captures the moment and the emotional state that many are experiencing. They appreciated the subtle markings and the complicated images representing the seasons accomplished by the background. Congratulations, Anna. So in addition to having this piece hang in my office for one year, uh, it also comes with an award of $700. So congratulations. And by the way, I think the best thing is after all the winners are announced, uh, we can then do uh, individual screenshots uh, for those who want to have that happen. Um, okay, the next award is gonna be the second overall 
winner of the Congressional Art Competition. And I'd like to invite uh, Marsha Mathias from Connect the Federal Credit Union uh, to help announce uh, this winner. It is to Jialing Sun. The piece is called Wild Child. And Jialing is in grade 11 from South High School. And this will hang in my district office uh, for one year. Thank you and congratulations for this beautiful piece of art. The judges thought that this piece made great use of color, outlining and markings. The yellow outlining provides a beautiful glow and this piece has a lot of nuance. Pastel is a difficult medium of art, so this is very impressive. Congratulations. So in addition to this uh, hanging in my disc office for one year. Uh, the award also comes with a $1,400. Uh, so uh, congratulations. And then uh, we're now here to announce the first place winner of the Congressional Art Competition. I'd like to invite Rob Brockman from AMC Theaters uh, to help announce uh, the first place winner. And the winner goes to Harry Fang. The piece is called My Renaissance. Harry is in grade 10 at Chatterwick School, and this will hang in the Hall of the United States Capitol for one year. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations. The judges were impressed by the color, more complicated content, composition, brushwork, and light in this piece. They believe that it was technically well done, psychologically sensitive, and most importantly, beautiful. Uh, thank you so much, Rob, uh, and Congratulations, Harry, uh, for uh, being the first place winner this year. And again, it will hang uh, in uh, the United States uh, Capitol Tunnel. And it also comes with a $2,800 uh, award. Thank you again so much for everyone who participated. And again, I want to thank all the judges, uh, all the students and their parents, as well as the schools and teachers, administrators, and all the community partners for putting on this event. And let me end with uh, some words of hope. Uh, we know that the Omicron virus uh, is declining in terms of cases. Uh, we know that there's uh, less hospitalizations. Uh, we know that uh, the uh, efficacy of the vaccines as well as uh, the Pfizer uh, antiviral treatment are very effective. And so uh, the next time we do this, uh, we're gonna be in person. Uh, so with that, thank you so much uh, for participating and have a wonderful and amazing weekend. For anyone who wants to stick around, we'll be showing a slideshow of the different submissions. So we we'll encourage you to stick around. Um, if not, we'll be posting it online. So we'd love to have you um, stay around, but I, I know everybody has a busy Saturday.
Thank you.
you all for attending. Um, we will have our certificates and swag goodie bags um, available for pickup on Saturday, March 19th between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. outside of our building parking lot um, in our office building. That's 1645 Corinth Avenue. Los Angeles, California, 90025. And I'll be sending out an email with more instructions about that. But thank you for spending the day with us and um, have a great rest of your day.